right friends welcome back to questions and answers discussion the first question is recently there is appreciation of rupee recently there is appreciation of rupee from rupees 68 a dollar to around 64 65 a dollar rupee appreciated recently yesterday we uploaded one capsule and lot of information is there who will be the winners who will be the losers please go through that and i discussed about macroeconomic stability also please go through that india's imports such as oil as well as capital goods became cheaper because of rupee appreciation because of rupee appreciation this capital goods because we are dependent on foreign countries for capital goods are like heavy machinery and at the same time oil imports so they became cheaper because of rupee appreciation and because of this inflation will be under control if rupee appreciates exports will become globally uncompetitive very very important when rupee appreciates exports will become globally uncompetitive in terms of rupee appreciation in terms of rupee appreciation indian multinational companies will be affected which have substantial foreign presence and software companies are also affected right so all three correct then the next one is which of the following is incorrectly matched four places i have given please go through them neduvasal neduvasal is the place where some agitations are going on against the hydrocarbons extraction against the issue of license for hydrocarbons extraction neduvasal this is the place in tamil nadu not in kerala where agitations are going on then kovada is in andhra pradesh where the atomic power plant six reactors of atomic power plant will come up here then jaitapur in maharashtra is the location for atomic power plant and alang in gujarat is one of the largest ship breaking sites in the world please don't forget this alang in gujarat is one of the ship breaking sites in the world used ships will be sent there they will be broken there so alang is the ship breaking center then bandar laddu got geographical engineering indication tag along with some other products recently this one which is famous in andhra pradesh this got geographical indication tag look at the following sentences geographical indication indicates unique identity connecting products with places so it has got unique identity connecting products with the places so if i say nagpur santra that means it has got its own quality if i say basmati rice like that that geographical indication indicates quality which is specific to the place geographical indication is valid for 10 years and geographical indication tag is given by geographical indication tag is given by gi registry geographical indication registry and this is under the controller general of patents designs and trademarks which is under the department of industrial policy and promotion ministry of commerce and industry so one and two correct so please correct it accordingly then look at the following amphibious us2 amphibious us2 these can land either on land or on sea so they can land either on land or on water so these amphibious us2 these belongs to japan and another point is s400 triumph this is the air defense system recently india agreed to purchase or intergovernmental agreement was signed for purchase five numbers of s400 triumph five numbers of s400 triumph air defense systems and this belongs to russia please don't forget and they can identify the aeroplanes planes up to a distance of 600 kilometers and they can tackle missiles up to a range of 400 kilometers so here s400 
Triumph Air Defense System, this going to be purchased from Russia, 5 numbers, 30,000 crores of rupees, intergovernmental agreement was signed during the year. Rafale fighter jets, they are going to be purchased from France. Then M777 Howitzer guns, this M777 Howitzer guns, they are going to be purchased from America. So, here 2 and 3 correct, Rafale from France, S400 Triumph from Russia, Amphibious belongs to Japan, please do not forget and this belongs to USA. So, government is in the process of procuring these. So, right option here is this one. China is accused of currency manipulation in recent times. Look at the following sentences. Currency manipulation means resorting to deliberate undervaluation of its exchange rate. Deliberately undervaluing its exchange rate that is currency manipulation. So, this is wrong. Basically, this currency manipulation is to promote exports with unfair competitive advantage. To promote exports with unfair competitive advantage. The competitive advantage will not be fair, it will be unfair. Quite often, Donald Trump is talking about currency manipulation by China. So, this can be the potential question for examinations. Next one is extended fund facility. Recently, this extended fund facility was given to Sri Lanka by IMF. IMF gives this extended fund facility. This is a soft loan window. That means, interest rate will be less. Whenever someone talks about soft loan, that will be with lesser interest than the market interest. Then, with longer repayment period, then next point is this extended fund facility is given by IMF to the countries which have structural weaknesses that is very very important point which have structural weaknesses in the middle range. So, to tide over those situations this facility is extended fund facility or EFF please do not forget this is by IMF. Recently, it was given to Sri Lanka, if I am not wrong. High yielding variety CO0232 resulted in enhanced output in one particular state in India. Name the crop we are talking about. The crop is sugar cane. Recently, do not forget, now Uttar Pradesh became number one in sugar cane production, replacing Maharashtra. Replacing Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh became number one. And most important aspect is this high yielding variety CO0232. This was developed, and because of this, sugar cane production increased in Uttar Pradesh. And we will present one separate module on agriculture related issues, right? There, we will discuss about various aspects like GM mustard, then golden rice, then this sugar cane variety then what is meant by fumigation and what is meant by this bowl worm disease. So, all those things we will discuss in separate agriculture module, right. So, here sugar cane is the answer. Next one is pulses is quite often in the news and good news for this year is this year pulses production is expected to be somewhere around 22 to 23 million tons. Last year it was somewhere around 17 or 18 million tons. Pulses production is expected to increase. My question here is which of the following constitutes maximum production of pulses? Pulses is quite frequently in the news. Out of all the pulses, chickpea or chena this constitutes the maximum, please understand. Next one is not grit is into the news quite frequently. Not grit is nothing but it is to store sensitive personal information of the citizens from various investigative agencies. Storing the personal information of citizens from various investigative agencies. In India, number of investigative agencies are there basically to store the information, so that it can keep track on anti-national elements, right. So, it is used primarily for prevention of money laundering is wrong. So, the first one is correct. Net grid, 
the operationalization of NAT, NAT grid is not going on on the expected lines. Next one is the fund of funds I discussed yesterday also. Fund of funds is quite frequently in the news. Look at the following sentences. Fund of funds is meant for startups, absolutely correct and it will not directly invest in the startups. It will invest in the corpus of alternative investment funds. So, it will invest in alternative investment funds and SIDB is the nodal authority for fund of funds in our country. Government has given 10,000 crores of rupees for fund of funds to promote the startups and this will be for a period of 10 years, please do not forget and this is monitored by SIDB, they will invest in some alternative investment fund and in turn alternative investment fund will invest in startups. So, all three correct. Next one is, which of the following is incorrectly matched? Here, Mathikett and Shola National Park is in Kerala. So, this is the answer here, because Mathikett and Shola National Park is into the news, because of the reason it is situated within 4.9 kilometers from Neutrino Observatory. That is why Neutrino Observatory clearances are becoming more stringent because it is within 5 kilometers of neutrino observatory. Then Koringa wildlife sanctuary is in Andhra Pradesh where olive ridley turtles came here and some of them dead because of human actions. This is into the news. Bithar Khanika, all of you are familiar with this and it is in Odisha and Panna Tiger Reserve is into the news because of the Ken Betwa Link Canal project. Please do not forget. Look into the next one. Now, exit of UK from European Union is taking place. Look into these sentences. Exit from European Union happens through Article 50 of Lisbon Treaty, very, very important. Exit from European Union happens through Article 50 of Lisbon Treaty. UK is the first country to trigger Article 50. Then third one is Customs Union and Single Market are the main traits of European Union. Customs Union and Single Market are the main traits of European Union. All three are correct. Look into the next one with regard to genetically modified seeds. Look at the following sentences. Here they are protected under Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act. Here genetically modified seeds, there was some controversy during the year, that is why I have taken this question. These are protected under Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act. Second point is the regulator has got the power to fix royalty rates. The regulator has got the power to fix royalty rates, both are correct. Then the next one is, which of the following aptly describes meaning of fumigation? In recent times, certain words, please do not forget, food fortification, fumigation, these are the words, please do not forget. Fumigation is the pest control mechanism controlling the pests or pest control mechanism during the processing of agricultural products, during the processing of agricultural products to prevent the transfer of various germs or you can say various pests should not be transferred to other organisms. So, it is used as a pest control mechanism during the processing of agricultural products to prevent the transfer of various organisms. Right. So, this is the right option. So, do not forget food fortification, a question is expected, fumigation and one fumigant was banned in some countries. We discussed about it probably yesterday. Then the next one is, read the following sentences with regard to mutual funds. Mutual funds, infrastructure investment trusts, real estate investment trusts and this year, if you look at economy aspects, question can be expected on real estate investment trusts, infrastructure investment trusts, GST at the same time, then investor state dispute settlement mechanism, that one word you should not forget, transfer pricing, advance pricing agreements, general anti-avoidance rule. So, these things you should not forget. 
they are into the news during 2016-17. Investments in mutual funds will reduce the risk with the diversification and managed by professionals. Very important, this is the right sentence here. Mutual funds investments means they reduce the risk with the diversification and managed by professionals. To invest in mutual funds, for investments in mutual funds, customer should have DMAT account, absolutely wrong. DMAT account is not required. If you want to invest in shares directly, DMAT account is required, but here DMAT account is not required. Mutual funds invest only in equities, this is also wrong. Mutual funds can invest in equities, debt instruments, there is no bar. So, the first one is correct here. Look at the next one. Look at the following sentences with regard to recent developments in monetary policy. Inflation target is kept as 4 percent plus or minus 2 percent. This inflation target is given by the government to the Reserve Bank of India and this is valid up to March 2021 and here for inflation calculation or inflation targeting, only consumer price index will be taken, not wholesale price index. Only consumer price index will be taken, but not wholesale price index. Then another point is, monetary policy committee will have six members, out of which three are from Reserve Bank of India. So, here 1 and 3 correct. So, it targets only consumer price index based inflation. Which of the following is wrongly matched as they are in the news in recent times? Far Rebels agreement was signed, Colombia, then Boko Haram. Boko Haram is the organization which is causing instability towards the northeastern part of Nigeria. We have seen the map a short while ago and this is Nigeria. Then Islamic State is in Syria, Syria and Iraq it spread its tentacles to some other countries like Libya also. Libya also it has got its presence. Then Muslim Brotherhood is Egypt. Bangladesh is not correct. So, Muslim Brotherhood is Egypt, please do not forget. Which of the following is in the vicinity of MN we have discussed through the maps? This is Bab El Mandeb. MN is into civil war and it has got border with Saudi Arabia and Oman and here Bab el Mandeb is situated which connects Red Sea with Arabian Sea. Then look into the next one. Several projects were executed in Afghanistan with India's assistance in recent times. In Afghanistan, several projects were executed with India's assistance. Which of the following is not related to this? Here you see Salma Dam. India Afghanistan Friendship Dam that was constructed by India, Parliament building constructed with India's assistance, Store Palace was renovated with India's assistance. This Sampur Power Project is in Sri Lanka. Sampur Power Project is the proposed power project in Sri Lanka and at the same time, please do not forget, Rampal Power Project is the proposed project in Bangladesh. Right, look into the next one. Name the state which is in due to the controversy of GI tag of Basmati rice. There is one controversy. Madhya Pradesh says that our state is not considered while giving the GI tag. There is some controversy. Government recognized or you can say GI registry recognized only the certain areas where Basmati rice is grown, but Madhya Pradesh was not included because of the reason the aroma of rice grown in Madhya Pradesh is different from the aroma of the rice grown in some areas, especially in the foothills of Himalayas. That is why it is not considered and it resulted into controversy. Right friends, let us wind up here. Tomorrow, please do join at 11 o'clock and 11.30 and we are going to upload various issues pertaining to the regular news and please do join at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Have a nice day. Thank you.